Hello and welcome. I am Matt Taylor and this is my variety channel. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a live stream event on YouTube so that you can, let's say, set up an event for a couple of days ahead of time and that, that way you can announce to your subscribers when you'll be on. And we're going to do that in YouTube in conjunction with OBS Studio, which is a free software that you can all download. And I'll put a link down below where you can get OBS Studio. All right, it's pretty easy to do. Let's get started. All right, so here we are on my main channel and you will notice that this is the classic view. The steps will be slightly different if you're using the new um, YouTube Studio view. But here we go. We need to go to Creator Studio and there's a couple ways to get there. You can just click on this blue box, which is the easiest way because it's right there in front of you. Or you can go up to your icon and click on that and go down to Creator Studio. Very simple. They both get you to the same spot. Let's go ahead and click on that. All right, and then we're going to come over here to Live Streaming. Over here on the left hand side, click on that. And now if you were going to just do an unscheduled event and just start streaming right away, like with OBS Studio, you could do that just here with Stream Now. I'm not going to go into that because this particular video is for events. So let's go ahead and click on Events right here. And there's two ways you can do this. You can hit schedule new event right here or just come up here and click on new live event. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And now it's going to ask you to put in a few things. We'll just put in a title. Live event test. And then you can fill out the description. Now I would recommend to fill out as much information as you can for the description because that will help for people to, when they're searching, to find it as well. This will show up on like random people's um, suggested videos and things like that. Same with the tags. Make sure to t tag it appropriately, et cetera, et cetera. You want to make sure to put all your tags in there. Um, great. You want to make sure that this is selected on public. And you want to do custom because we are going to need this custom setting so we can connect it to OBS Studio. Now click on advanced settings and make sure everything looks right to you. The default settings should be okay, but there's a few things that you may, you may want to change the category. You may want to change the language. Um, but other than that, you don't have to worry too much about what's over here. The stream optimizations, you want to be aware of this. If you have a slower internet connection, you'll probably want to pick low latency or ultra low latency. If you have a really fast connection, uh, normal latency will be the best experience. All right, and we can go up here and just create event. Now this is where we want to upload our custom thumbnail that we created. Um, you'll want to make sure to create a custom thumbnail. I'm going to go and find that real quick. And there's my custom uh, thumbnail. And this thumbnail is what's going to show everybody that's waiting to watch it. And I'll show you what that will look like. Okay. And then what we'll want to do is we'll want to come down here and you could use a re reusable stream key if you want. I always just use a single use stream key because I have two channels that I stream from and it just it's just easier for me. And so right here is where you are going to select your encoder. I just have other encoders because that's what you want to select for OBS Studio. But if you're using Wirecast, then select Wirecast or Flash Media Live. All right. And then what is really important is this stream name right here. You want to copy that. Now I have it faded out because I don't want you to see my stream name. It's going to change, but you don't want people to see that because then they can go ahead and stream on your channel. But you're going to grab that and then over in OBS Studio, which I have right here, you're going to come in here to Settings, Stream, 
and you want to paste that key right in here. And also make sure that your stream type is streaming services, your service is YouTube, YouTube Gaming, and your server is primary YouTube ingest server. Hit OK. Great. Now that all looks good. You'll come up here and hit Save Changes. If you want to add a card, you can add a card to your video here, like if you want to have them check something else out, or if you have a poll for them or something like that. We'll come here to the Live Control Room. And this is what we're going to be on while we're, we're streaming live, okay? We'll use this in conjunction with OBS Studio. If you want to see what your um, page will look like, click on this View on Watch page. And this is what your users will see, and you can copy this URL and share that with people, okay? And I forgot to show you one thing you want to do over here on info and settings is you want to um, do the time. And um, I'm going to do this just so I can show you really quick. 11.20 a.m. Okay. And save those changes. And you can add an end time if you want. And there we go. Now again, we want to go back to this live control room. Now before it will start, you need to come over to OBS Studio, which is right here, and click Start Streaming. Okay, that's gonna send the signal over to YouTube. And then what you will see, your stream status will look good, health is good, that's great. Hit, then you wanna click on Preview. And you'll just wait for a second while it's generating the preview. So you'll want to do that a couple minutes before you want to actually be live, and then you just kick, click here, start streaming. And now I am live right now, and uh, what they are seeing is, um, if you come over here to the watch page, they are seeing my little event there, and if I and just... I am live right now. And if I just come over here to my camera, um, you can see what they are seeing. And there's going to be a, a bit of a delay. So here I am. Here I am being live right now, talking and whatnot. Um, uh, there you go. But you're going to do everything from your live control room and if people are on they'll be chatting down here and you can chat with them sometimes depending on your stream you might get a good or bad stream status all right and you you might just need to change your settings so you should do some practice streams before you before you actually do live for your main event and then when we want to stop streaming you're going to come over here to OBS Studio and click on Stop Streaming. And then come up here and hit Stop Streaming. And then after several minutes, it'll create a video on your page that you can share with people later and people who missed the stream can watch it later. All right, there you have it. That's how you set up a live stream event on YouTube using OBS Studio. Pretty easy to do, a few little technical, technical things that you need to worry about it, but if you follow those steps, you will be up and running in no time. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos, my other tutorials. I have a variety of content here. And if you like cooking, make sure to check out my cooking channel, In the Kitchen with Matt. Until next time, happy streaming, everyone. Take care.